This is the TDA 2040, 25 watts audio power with the supply voltage up to 40 volts total. That's be 20 volts per rail. It's 25 watts with a plus minus rail of 17 into 4 ohms. They talk a lot in this amp about 4 ohms. You don't see much that they mention about 8 ohms. This is the only 8 ohm it's, uh, figure it's showing and over here it shows it to be like 12 watts on the average and that's the uh, typical rating and again under the typical column 25 watts 4 ohms with a plus and minus of 17 but that's 20 to 22 watts again this is typical or middle middle of the range figures for the 2040 this is one of these kits that you can buy on ebay this one the tda 2040 so this one i had to put together um, this is a single supply, okay? This uses the single supply. This particular one shows a 2030. I have the 2040 version of it, and it's a single supply. If we look at it, we'll notice that you got the B plus here and then the ground. So between these two, it's like no more than 40 volts. These chips are very prone to oscillation if you exceed uh, maximum voltage of 40. We're going to look at this circuit right now and see what it'll do. So this says 8 ohms, but I'll be looking at an 8 ohm and 4 ohm. So let's test the voltage on this one. 36.8 volts under load. And so right here, 29.4 volts peak to peak across 4 ohms. So using E squared over R, we put in it's 29 volts divided by 2, 14.5. So we're going to square that number. Now we divide that by 4. That equals 52 watts peak. That's just peak. So we divide that by 2 to get RMS. There it is, 26 watts. More than satisfies 25 watts here. Okay. And that's RMS power. So this amp, like it is now, will make uh, rated 25 watts and then some. Uh, they usually want you to mount the fan on the other side of the heat sink right there. And that's, that's no good. <laughs> This is the best way to mount the fan because the air is blowing down over the fins. It works far better. Now we'll check it on uh, the 8 ohms. They're saying 12 watts nominal. We'll check it on 8 ohms. So next I'll build the amp with a plus and minus supply and then let's see how it works. Here was the board from which it was. You see it went right there. This is one of those boards. We saw the results on this from this board. Built it to this. Again, we'll look at it a cycle for one kilohertz. And so right here, 29.4 volts peak to peak into four ohms. So let's check that calculation now. 29.4 volts peak to peak. We get a whopping 27 watts. That's RMS watts. Now we'll do it with just eight ohms. And without touching the volume control or the frequency at 1K, we go over here to the scope and notice it's still at just a hair above 29.4. We'll go ahead and call it 29.4 volts peak to peak. And again, entering that value into the computer at uh, 29.4 volts, 8 ohms, 13 and a half watts RMS. At that level, we can adjust the input a little bit more. So we'll see how much more it'll put out at 8 ohms at the higher level. You have a little extra on it. That's 31.3 volts into 8 ohms. 31.3 volts peak to peak. And look at that. Over 15 watts RMS into 8 ohms. There's 8 ohms. 15 watts RMS over 15 watts. So the TDA 2040 we've seen will do power output into 4 ohms up to 40 volts. They mean that. When they say 40 volts, don't go over 40 volts and the thing will become unstable. Uh, otherwise, the TDA 2040 looks to be a really good amp into 4 ohms. Not a bad amplifier. TDA 2040. I give it thumbs up.